Hey, I'm Michael, and in this Cricut tutorial, I'm about to show you how to customize a 16 ounce Libby beer glass with the help of your Cricut cutting machine. So let's get crafty. Now y'all, these things have been so freaking popular. I have seen them all over TikTok, all over Instagram, all over Facebook, like literally, these things are taking over the world. They are this 16 ounce Libby beer glass. They're super simple, but also super freaking cute at the exact same time, super, super trendy. And if you are a small business owner, if you do this whole Cricut thing as a side hustle, this could be a really great way to make some, some little extra money on the side. I'm just saying, just putting it out there. Now, if you caught one of my most recent 15 minute Cricut challenges over on the Mr. Crafty Pants YouTube channel, then you know that um, I made one of these recently. You also may know that I am obsessed with these. And you may also know that, you know, there might be a slightly better way to go about actually applying everything to this. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. It's super quick, super simple, super easy, and I am all about it. So first thing we'll need is a cutting machine. I'm using a Cricut. You could really use any cutting machine on the market as long as it works with SVG cut files. You also need some vinyl. And boy, let me tell y'all, Y'all need this vinyl. <laughs> now during my 15 minute Cricut challenge, I did mistakenly call this the StarCraft Magic. This is actually the StyleTech Opal vinyl. And let me tell y'all, the camera does not do this justice, first of all. And second of all, like, if this does not like tickle your pickle, if this does not give you butterflies, I don't know what will, because this stuff is so freaking gorgeous. So here is just some of them that we are using today. So this right here, we will also be using these two right here. I mean, how, I mean, I know it looks good on camera, but in my opinion, it looks so much better in person. And then this, like, I'm so obsessed. Now, we will throw in a little bit of contrast and I love doing this. Maybe just throwing in a little extra interest by throwing in something on the opposite end of the spectrum. Like maybe some StarCraft HD permanent adhesive vinyl with the matte finish. And this will all make a little bit more sense here shortly when I show you the SVG cut file. But let me tell y'all, this is something I think that everybody is going to want to make. It's just so cool. We will also be using some transfer tape. I'm using one of my favorites, which is the StyleTech Clear Medium Tech Transfer Tape. And if you are a Crafty.net member, you can really get, I think, pretty much everything that I've listed and mentioned already, uh, basically at 10% off. That's like an exclusive member discount so many of our members pay for their crafty.net membership with the discount from 143 vinyl alone and if you are international if you are outside of the us don't worry we got some uh, some partnerships in the works that will hopefully give you all the exact same benefit so let's go ahead and hop over to crafty.net and i'll show you the amazing svg cut file that we're using for this and here it is right here. Now, this is just like an orange theme and we have so many that's either on the site right now or that will be coming very soon by the time that you're watching this video. But again, these are just so freaking trendy and we even have more in the works that will be coming out very shortly. So keep your eyes peeled for that. But what I'm gonna do is come right over here and do a one click download, just like I love to do. There we go. And then let's go ahead and hop over here to Cricut Design Space. And as you can see, yeah, I, I skipped ahead a little bit. I went ahead and uploaded it into Design Space. But if you are new to this and you're not entirely sure how to do that, like how to get a file from, from Crafty over to Cricut Design Space, I have a full playlist. And in each video of that playlist, I do that on, on different types of devices. I do it on a computer, like a laptop. Uh, for, for Mac as well as like a Windows PC. I also do it on an iPad as well as an Android tablet. So I will link that playlist for you all down in that description box below. So be sure to check that out. So what we're gonna do now is basically, basically nothing. <laughs> y'all, we have made this so easy. Like basically all of the files, well not basically, like all of the files on crafty.net, they are optimized to work effortlessly with your cutting machine. You don't have to worry about anything really. And with these, these Libby 16 ounce beer glass SVG cut files, these are no different. And actually they're already pre-sized to fit perfectly onto these beer glasses. Like how freaking awesome is that? Like it's so simple, so easy. That's why like, I just love everything about crafty.net. That's why I created it for you all in the first place, just to make it super simple and make crafting fun again. I'm all about that. So what I'll do is come up here towards the top right and click on make it. 
And you will see this page if you are using a Cricut Maker 3, Cricut Explorer 3, Cricut Joy, um, basically asking if you'll be cutting with a mat or without, and I will be cutting with a mat, and then click on continue. All right, so this is basically showing us all of the different layers. So basically there's nothing to do here. We just have to come down here towards the bottom right and click on continue. All right, so the first one up is the outside of the actual orange itself. So for that one, I am using this Style Tech Opal right here. Now, um, whenever I was doing my 15 minute Cricut challenge, I was actually using the uh, the light cardstock cut setting. But what I'm gonna do is come over here, click on Browse All Materials, and I'm actually going to do a search for Premium Vinyl Holographic. And here is the holographic version right there. I'll come down here and click on Done. Now, I always do test cuts. Whenever I did a test cut with my old Cricut Maker, it did not want to work very well with this particular type of, of vinyl. However, for whatever reason, with my Cricut Maker 3 and my, my new blade I have in here, it works, like this cut setting works. So be sure, be sure to always do your test cuts just to make sure it's right before you commit to cutting out a larger design, only to find out after the fact that it's not gonna work for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this onto a cutting mat and then throw this into the machine. And then whenever that little go button starts flashing, we can go ahead and click on that for to start cutting. All right, let's go ahead and unload this. And then flip the mat over and peel that mat away from our vinyl because basically we do not want to cause any damage to our vinyl. And you can do that if you actually pick up the vinyl and peel that away from the, the mat instead. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my scissors. Like y'all are obsessed with these scissors and rightfully so, like they are amazing. Like I am so in love with them. They are from Fiskars. I will have them listed and linked down in that description box below. And as far as, as uh, Fiskars go, I want to work together, call me. <laughs> all right, so to weed all this out, I'm just grabbing a little pin pin weeding tool, like this little guy right here. Honestly, y'all, I got so mesmerized by that vinyl that I should have went ahead and just loaded the next mat and had that cutting, but again, I was just like in a trance over this stuff. Like, is this not the most gorgeous stuff? I'm just saying. All right, so for this, for the StarCraft HD, on the Cricut Maker and on the Cricut Explore 3, I used the Premium Vinyl Permanent Glossy. I'm gonna go ahead and peel off some of this transfer tape. And I do have that sticky side facing up towards me. And this one, I'm gonna take our vinyl here and lay it face first down onto the sticky side of the, of the transfer tape. This one, go ahead and grab a little squeegee tool and burn that transfer tape down onto that vinyl. And then we'll flip this over and then peel the backing paper away from that vinyl and transfer tape. All right, let's go ahead and unload this mat. We'll set this off to the side with the sticky side facing up so it doesn't stick down to anything. And then we'll flip the mat over and then peel that mat away from the vinyl. All right, so the next layer to cut out are these little yellow polka dots. Now for that, instead of using yellow, I'm actually gonna use something a little bit different. I'm actually gonna use like this pinkish, bluish color. It's purplish, so freaking gorgeous. Like that's what that is. It's freaking gorgeous. All right, now let's go ahead and switch that cut setting back over to the premium vinyl holographic. Here that is right there, and then done. And then I'm gonna go ahead and trim out our design from the rest of the vinyl. And then while we're weeding this out, we can go ahead and have this start cutting out. And then for our very last mat, we have to come back in here, do a search for premium vinyl holographic. And then we're gonna load this in for the leaves. All right, so we have everything all weeded out. So now what I'm gonna do is take our first little layer that we have here already on the transfer tape, 
And then we're gonna go ahead and apply this down and actually pick up all the other layers at the exact same time. So to help me out with that, I am grabbing some parchment paper because this is like the best stuff to use as a barrier between your two layers, just so that nothing like prematurely sticks down to the surface. All right, so basically what I do is cover up most of our vinyl with that parchment paper. And then let's go ahead and we'll take the outside of the orange and then we'll pick up on the actual inside of the orange first. So we basically have everything lined up exactly where it should be. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just take my little squeegee tool and just push down that transfer tape. We'll lift this up. Remove the parchment paper. And then we'll take our squeegee tool again and just kind of burnish down this layer onto the one below it. It's probably honestly we do better just to flip it over and actually burnish down the back side of the backing paper just so that nothing actually sticks down to the desk. Then we go ahead and peel the backing paper off. And here is what we have so far. So let's just keep on stacking it all. All right, so that right there looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and burnish down the top little part of that transfer tape to the table just temporarily. Go ahead and remove the parchment paper and then just kind of burnish this down a little bit. Again, just being careful not to actually burnish anything down to the actual tabletop. And then we can actually flip this over and then finish burnishing it all but off on the actual backing paper. And I think I actually forgot to weed out the inside of the little dots inside of the actual, of the bigger oranges. So let me go in here and just kind of reverse weed and get those out real quick. Now let me go ahead and pull that parchment paper out yet again. Again, covering up most of that vinyl with that parchment paper. We'll go over here and just kind of position this over these little dots. Again, burnishing down the top little part, removing that parchment paper, and then just barely laying that down just enough to pick it back up. Flip it over and then burnish down the back side with that backing paper. And then we go ahead and peel that backing paper off the back side of that vinyl, and in this case, the transfer tape too. And there we go. Now, what we need to do now is go ahead and apply all of this all together as one piece to our actual cup. But before we can do that, we need to do a couple other things. So basically we need to prep this cup because we don't basically want any film on this or any oil or anything that would prevent our permanent vinyl from properly adhering and curing onto this. So what I wanna do is go ahead and grab some rubbing alcohol and wipe this down extremely well. And now I'm actually gonna grab one of these little bags right here. Now this is actually a cornhole bag, believe it or not, that I picked up off of Amazon. I will have this listed and linked for you all down in that description box below. But what I've kind of found to be very helpful with these is basically just kind of grabbing them in the middle, kind of shaking them a little bit, and then laying them down like so. And basically that kind of makes a little divot right down there in the center that I can actually lay this little glass onto like so. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab this parchment paper one last time and lay this onto our vinyl. But this time around, I'm just gonna leave a little bit of showing down here towards the end, like the side of the vinyl. All right, so now we can go ahead and make sure that this is all going to wrap around properly. Oh my gosh, y'all, like this is gonna be so freaking cute. All right, so we know that everything is going to line up properly. So let me go ahead and grab a little squeegee tool and burnish down this right over here. Then we can go ahead and remove that parchment paper. And then very carefully start burnishing this all down. Okay, then we can go ahead and start peeling this off. Y'all, I cannot even, like I am so freaking obsessed with how this turned out. Like it's so, so gorgeous. Like I'm so, I'm over the moon. Now, as far as like the aftercare instructions, 
whew, you do want to give this at least 48 to 72 hours after you apply that permanent vinyl for it to properly cure and adhere to that cup. So don't be messing with it too much, don't be drinking out of it, anything like that. As far as washing it goes, you really want to stay away from putting this into the dishwasher. If you do like just have to put it in the dishwasher, put it on the top rack and don't do the heated dry if you have that option with your dishwasher. As far as hand washing it, don't let it soak in the sink with inside of water either. Um, I would honestly prefer or recommend just doing a quick hand wash and then just calling it done and that's it. And this will last years and years and years to come, I promise. Now, if you are new around here to this channel and you also want to learn how to best use your Cricut cutting machine, or maybe you want to learn more about sublimation or Glowforge or other laser cutters, or you know, just want to get down with all of the crafty things, then you may want to consider stamping that subscribe button and also consider ringing that little bell for all of the notifications because we put out new crafty tips, tricks, and tutorials every single week. And I promise you do not want to miss out on a single crafty minute. Also, if you liked today's episode or maybe you learned something new, consider stamping that like button and dropping a comment down in the comment section below. Both of those things help us out tremendously here on this channel. And honestly, it's just so extremely, extremely appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. We love y'all to the freaking moon and back. And until next time, stay crafty.